First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking who he may destroy. A lot of people can't get it through their head that there is a real breathing, walking, talking devil out there that is a supernatural devil that's been studying you since you've been born. That's why you can't put the marijuana joint down. That's why you can't quit smoking. That's why you have the urge to look at pornography on the internet. That's why you have the urge to turn on the evening news to hear all this confusion. That's why your children are rebellion against you. Realize that the devil cannot stand you, cannot stand your children, your spouse, your mother, your father, and your pets. Because he knows that the hand of the Lord is on you. He knows that you are destined for heaven if you follow the guidelines that God and the commandments that the Lord has given you. If you serve the Lord, the devil is attacking you. Heck, he's probably throwing the kitchen sink at you and you don't know why your marriage is crumbling. You don't know why you keep getting these lustful thoughts in your dreams. You don't know why scientists on TV are saying our medical professionals, it's okay to touch yourself. It's okay to masturbate. It's okay to play with your private parts. It's totally normal because they're devils themselves. Wake up, folks. We are, I don't know if you know it by now, but we are in a battleground. This is spiritual warfare. In Ephesians 6, Paul says, Put on your armor. Therefore, standing, having your loins gird about with truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith so you can withstand all the fiery darts of the wicked. The helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And then get on your knees and fast and pray to the Lord that you may open your mouth boldly, because we are lions for the Lord. Open your mouth boldly as you need speak about the gospel. And save all these lost, wicked souls in the world today. God bless you all. Get motivated for the Lord Jesus, for He is good. We all have a calling. We're not here on accident. You know the, the probability of you being born breathing, Google it. I challenge you to Google it. It is 1 in 400 trillion. And it could be as high as 1 in 400 quadrillion. And to make that known to you, Google it. And realize that the devil has been studying you be, before you and your mother and fathers ever crossed paths and thought of you and you were a gleam in their eye because he was in the heavenly realm of heaven just like he was with Job. Realize your attacks come from the devil. Realize the only way to fight these attacks are on your knees and being obedient. Take yourselves out of the world. Take yourselves out of the world and out of the confusion thereof. Take it away from the news when you come home. Don't listen to your co-workers at work mumbling and moaning how their weekend went and how they're this and th shut it off delete all your social media accounts don't go on there no more remember the Lord is counting on you to do what he put you here to do because this world is a battleground it is not a playground I hope this helps somebody get motivated for the Lord Jesus for he loves you.